everyone, this is Darvina with Darvina Plays with Scissors, and um, this is our third project that we are creating with our Life is Beautiful stamp set. Um, again, I'm using the exact same pieces of cardstock that we've used for the previous two projects, and I'm also going to be using Cinnamon Cider and Crushed Curry inks. So, um, I also wanted to kind of point out that I'm using our gold hoop embellishment. I promised during my paper pumpkin unboxing um, a few days ago, I promised I would use this in this weekend's projects. So, I wanted to call that out. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started by um, scoring our paper. So, this is a normal A2 size cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half. We are going to score it right in the middle at four and a quarter, just like that. And now we are going to fold it. Fold it right in half and grab our bone folder to really press down that crease. And we're going to be using it in our landscape format today. So, with that said, let's go ahead and put that one aside, put that aside, and let's work on our panel. Um, so, let's grab our scrap paper because I tend to go over the edges and grab our crushed curry ink. And then I'm using the stamp in um, the set that is a bunch of these little dots. Not using the leaves, I'm using the little circles, the spots. So basically, I just wanna ink it up and just put it all over Oop. <laughs> our paper. Um, I'm focusing mostly on the edges because we're going to have a tag that goes across the middle. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Just grabbing my chamois so I can clean my stamp so it doesn't stain. And then now let's cut this one. This is our one and a quarter by three and three quarters uh, piece of white, Whisper White cardstock. And I went ahead and created some lines, but I'm basically cutting from this corner upward to kind of make it, give it a little slant. And then I'm doing the same on this side. And because I wrote on this side, I'm going to flip it over and um, stamp our sentiment on here. So let me move this over here, get rid of these little scraps. And then now I want to use my cinnamon cider and I'm just stamping with the life is beautiful sentiment. Let's, I want to kind of do it a little bit towards the top because I am going to add a uh, ribbon. I'm not sure that this is straight. So don't kill me. <laughs> anyway, um, so we've got our sentiment. Uh, let me wipe this off really quick and then let's get this attached to this and oof. yeah I'm looking at my notes so I just want to attach this to this um, because we're going to wrap this 
with our linen, our braided linen ribbon. And as you can tell, I'm almost out. But I think that will be long enough. Watch it not be long enough. Famous last words, right? And I'm just going to, ugh, let me put this away. That's the worst thing about crafting is just trying to keep everything out of the way. Just like that. And then obviously we're gonna cut these. That was way too much, but it looks really good. Tighten this. Let me just pull it out a little bit so I can tighten it better. There we go. And then kind of want to move it a little bit more downward. Let me grab that little tail. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do I want to pop this up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these layers put together first. So let's let's position this. Um no, let's do it this way. Position this right about here. Perfect. Okay. Now let's take our design series paper and layer that right on top. This is actually going to go all the way to the edge, just like that, and just like that. Now, I want to pop this up because, um, where did it go? Oh, our gold hoop is pretty significant. Um, so really, the only way that I've found to attach it to a project is with our glue dots. And, but they go over, come on, they go over, come on, oh my goodness. You can see that they, you know, go beyond the hoop. So you can see the actual glue dots. Well, you don't want to see that on your project, so... We want to make sure it's under something. So if I put that there, and then I put that, hmm, I should probably move this one a little bit higher onto the hoop. So if we put it there, and then we put that on top, perfect. Okay, so there's our hoop. And now I want to grab some of our dimensionals. And I'm going to position them right on the ribbon a little bit so that it can hold it in place. On our 
So now I am going to put that right there. Just like that. How pretty is that? And then, like I said, on the other projects, you can write your sentiment directly on the card here. It's light enough that your ink will show. Or you can put a panel of Whisper White and uh, put your sentiment on the Whisper White. But that is our final and third and final card. So let's go ahead and grab all of them so you can see all of them together. In fact, you know what I forgot? Let's go ahead and grab some of these gold or yellow. Um, oops, wrong end. Grab some of these yellow sequins and add them to our card. Perfect. one and two and let's just do one more even though it blends in really well I still like to stick to the whole you know odd versus even um, philosophy when it comes to embellishments so there we go now they are done they are completely done let's put our pick a tool away and this is all three of them that we just finished I guess I should have made sure I was out of the I wasn't out of screen so, um, there you go. Like I said, we used the exact same cardstock for all three. Um, we didn't really use too many inks. Um, I used the gold embellishment like I promised. That really makes it really pretty. It classes it up, I think. Um, so anyway, it's fairly inexpensive to do all three of these cards. Um, cause like I said, you're using the same material. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you try it on your own. Um, if you go to my blog, um, I usually have a hostess code um, advertised every month that you can use if you order $50 or more in product. I will send you a free gift. Every month that gift changes. So depending on when you order the product, depends on which gift you get. Um, otherwise, yeah, have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you next week.